so yesterday was down in London and uh, then back to Edinburgh and today I'm in uh, Bristol. I've been editing the um, film I made yesterday about success and me scrabbling around with triangles and all this ridiculousness and it was there staring me in the face. <laughs> project that's been going on for the last 10 years has been one of the most surprising adventures of my life and I can safely say there are very very few bad days but unfortunately today is just one of those and that's life I guess. There's been a space of robberies in kind of Islington of late by a professional uh, crew and uh, it was our turn last night. They're professionals in balaclavas, um, you name it, you know kind of like a, a bit of a, a mob crew and no one's been hurt, and that's the most amazing thing. But um, it's just uh, a shame that uh, people go to such lengths and risks. I mean, this is like massive custodial sentence if you get caught. Oscar's just peed into the, the 22nd hole of this Lynx course. Anyway, that's kind of cheered me up a little bit. It is on the way to you now and will be arriving shortly. So I'm um, back to London today uh, to have my final set of notes for the first episode of this thriller that I'm working on. Um, it's also a really got opportunity uh, to do some prep work. What I've done on this uh, project, which is a bit unusual, is I didn't start with a uh, fixed template. So I've allowed it to uh, kind of evolve over the, I think it's 18 cues uh, that I've written for the app. So now what I have to do, which is a bit kind of time consuming, is I have to go back through every single cue and uh, kind of prep it so I can prepare playback stems and uh, mix stems and also the orchestration, which all has to happen before the um, recording sessions on Tuesday. What I've got to do is do the notes this weekend, track lay, prepare stuff for the orchestrator and prepare stuff for Leo. Abrahams, the amazing guitarist. Great tip for this service is um, the first one out of Waverley in Edinburgh, the 540, only stops at Newcastle and it's really expensive. So uh, the trick is don't book a seat and then basically you can find a nice quad and set up your mobile writing rig. They tease me on this train, the guards, they say you're a bit of a spreader. So basically what we've got to do is create a homogenous and unified uh, workflow to prepare the track lays, playback stems, and material for Ben the orchestrator and Leo the guitarist. So the first thing I've done is basically list my multi-track mix stems, which are combinations of instruments and tracks, so it's kind of manageable. I have about uh, three years experience as uh, an engineer. I ran my own recording studio, so I kind of have have a sense of what needs to be put together to make something kind of workable for the mix engineer. I've basically uh, created a whole bunch of auxiliary tracks and then I just send the different tracks through into those. There's two sets of them, there's the mix stems and the playback stems which I've designed. Um, basically whatever we're recording I stem out onto its own independent track. This is so the orchestrator can hear exactly what we need to orchestrate, uh, that Leo can hear the guitar parts that he needs to play and the sounds that I've used and uh, also so we've just got a manageable track count for the recording sessions. I mean Pro Tools Briggs are fine these days, but I still find working with multi-tracks during tracking sessions to be a bit cumbersome. So I've basically got the auxiliaries uh, uh, routing through to the playback stems, and then I've created a duplicate set of tracks, which are all grouped together, put them into record, and off we go. And there is uh, something I made earlier, a set of track lays and playbacks. Now I use the last cue because it's the most evolved, and here's the workflow. So the first thing we need to do is normalize all MIDI. This I've got on a uh, key command. 
And this basically means there's no dodgy transpositions for the orchestrator, and it also gets rid of any aliases which can cause problems. I then create a tempo event at bar one. This makes sure that the uh, MIDI file um, synchronizes. And then I import the, this is where I import the, the, the final cue, those tracks that I made that I showed you earlier, both the auxiliaries and the actual stems. So we need to bring everything in. There we go, except for the, those ones. And I just import the IO and not the content. So there's the tracks uh, brought in. Uh, the only thing that Logic doesn't do when you import is it doesn't import any routing for the auxiliary channels. So the next step is I have to reroute auxiliary channels so that we create the playback stems. So it's all of those go into rest of mix, ROM. That goes into the guitar, and these go into the strings, not many strings on this. Next up, the boring bit. I have to route all the tracks to their correct uh, buses. And as it comes up, there's all of these stuff I've actually made with my fuckbox, and uh, there's the triple felt, but also I've made use of in Enigma, which is actually Leo Abrahams, the guitarist I'm gonna be working with, his amazing uh, sample library. So then I'm gonna create the groups. Those aren't imported either. And again, this is just for ease of use. So great, so mix stems, playback stems, and then the auxiliaries, playback auxiliaries. And then save. Right, that's all the cues uh, prepped. I feel um, kind of expunged, refreshed in the, in the way that you do when you have like a fruit juice enema. Are you a happy man? Very happy man, yes. I'm playing with your toys, basically. It, do you know it doesn't stop there? How do you mean? Let me show you something. <laughs> They're sending something else. They are so awesome. Uh, yes, Harry was showing me that. <laughs> yeah. How's this one? I've not tried that one. I've, I've literally just kind yeah. of... Yeah. Very, very good. good. Yeah. And what, what, what is it, Paul? It's, a... it's like a kind of... Um, it's kind of okay. all the, lots and lots, lots of time of mods. modulation. Yeah. Yeah. So the main yeah. question I was going to ask... What the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we managed to, managed to acquire a harmonium. <laughs> Finally, actually, this has been on my... It's list. a harmonium? It's a harmonium, yeah. Studios in Manchester, did they have them? Studios in Manchester? No, not so much really. You see, I'm trying to work this out because I'm convinced there's a line of latitude which above every studio has a yeah. harmonium in. Well, Gold, in Gold Scotland, Gold Sound. Gold yes. Sound has, I have a Cutler's harmonium. Yeah, I have a Cutler's harmonium. Which yeah. Is, so it's like the... Uh, the grain, was it the granary line or what was the... The grain line, yeah, yeah, people above it drink beer and vodka and people below it drink wine, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, it's the harmonium line. But this one, this one is from Slough, so... <laughs> well, you know, what, you know what John Betchman said about that place. Yeah. So you've found a new feature on, on uh, YouTube. It means there is a note being recorded, just one single note recorded... For a very long time. <laughs> it's good as an acting lesson. If you want to do drunk, just go half as fast. <laughs> we have this 